Back here in the U.S., the race for the White House has kicked into overdrive tonight with attacks and counterattacks from both candidates. There are just 97 days until voters head to the polls, and Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are moving full steam ahead. Vice President Harris held a raucous rally in Georgia, the critically important battleground state, and spoke directly to Trump, trying to goad him into a debate. Meantime, Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, spoke to a crowd in the swing state of Nevada, attacking him. Harris on the border, crime, and oil drilling. KTLA 5's Mary Beth McDade joins us live in studio with all of today's developments. Hi, MB. Hi there. Good to see you. Well, the race to win the White House is certainly heating up. While Harris dares Trump to debate her, Trump unleashes a new political ad attacking the way Harris has handled the border. Oh, it's good to be back in Georgia. <laughs> At a campaign rally in Atlanta, Georgia, Please. Vice President Kamala Harris accused former President Donald Trump of trying to back out of the September debate he had previously agreed to do with President Joe Biden. So he won't debate, but he and his running mate sure seem to have a lot to say about me. She then challenged Trump to meet her on the debate stage. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say... Meantime, Trump released a new political ad attacking the way Harris handled the border crisis. Brutal migrant crimes and ISIS now here. Do you have any plans to visit the border? You haven't been to the border. And I haven't been to Europe. I, mean, I don't understand the point that you're making. Harris punched back. I will bring back the border security bill that Donald Trump killed and I will sign it into law. Harris is reportedly expected to make her VP pick as early as Monday. So next week, the two can embark on a tour through battleground states, where a new poll shows Harris and Trump are in a statistical dead heat in six of the seven swing states. However, Harris leads by 11 points in Michigan. The Trump fans campaign released a statement on the same day the Project 2025 director stepped down, reiterating that Project 2025 has nothing to do with the campaign or Trump in any way and welcomes its demise. This, says Vance, pulled a few punches of his own at a rally in Henderson, Nevada. Do we want open borders? No. Do we want to bankrupt Medicare by giving it to illegal aliens? No. Do you want to defund the police? No. Do you want to ban fracking? No. So do we want Kamala Harris? Hell no. Tomorrow evening, Trump will return to Pennsylvania just three weeks after an assassination attempt there. He's going to hold a rally inside the state farm show complex in Harrisburg. And earlier in the day, he's going to be addressing the National Association of Black Journalists in Chicago. As for Harris, well, she's going to be traveling down to Houston for a political event tomorrow. And then we'll deliver a eulogy at Representative Sheila Jackson Lee's funeral on Thursday. That's going to do it for me. Michael, we'll send it back over to you. Mary Beth, thank you.